The devastating impact of the recent prolonged drought is still being felt by many families in Turkana County, which were left without any source of livelihood. The dry spell worsened the already existing malnutrition crisis in the country, which has been teetering between 15 and 30 percent over the last several years. Serfin Acheng Ooma was in Turkana County and highlights the plight of families whose children have been forced to survive on nothing other than nutrition supplements meant to be therapeutic treatment for malnourished children. Turkana County, a county that was in the red zone during the prolonged drought. We are back here after the March, April, May rainy season, which performed dismally, and one can still notice the dry rivers. But as we head down to the quiet Lorraine village, which was one of the most affected areas, we are awed by the splendors of the greenery covering the landscape. A representation of the coming back to life of a village that was once a wide expanse of dry land tucked underneath a dark cloud of death of both plants and animals. This progressive recovery, however, might perhaps veil the real struggles of a generation that was almost swallowed in the strong whirlwind of the prolonged drought. <laughs> Ikimat Ebekutu is the last born of this family of five children. When he was born 18 months ago, he was healthy. But after they lost their livestock during the prolonged drought, the family has been struggling to get enough food to eat. Even on the day we visited, the cold fireplace was a clear sign that there was nothing for lunch. The last time we ate was last night after four days of going without food. The lack of food has taken a huge toll on Ebekutu's health. A quick glance at him, one can't help but notice his small, frail body. Ebekutu is severely malnourished. He has been sickly since he was born. It could be due to lack of food. For Mary Moit, who has lost two children already, it's been a constant fight to beat the odds of parenting in such adverse conditions. It is a daily struggle for women in this community who are forced to take the torturous journey on a daily basis in search of food for their children and to keep their children alive. We meet several women queuing at one of the outreach clinics in Latea Ward in Turkana West Sub-County. They are here to pick nutrition supplements for their children who are recovering from malnutrition. Ebekutu's mother is among them. Her son has been on the treatment program for three months now, but his situation is yet to improve. He is malnourished. Well, According to the World Health Organization, the severity of malnutrition is only acceptable if the prevalence is less than 5%, while a global acute malnutrition value of more than 10% indicates an emergency. Turkanas has been tiering between 15 and 30% in the last few years. The county ranks high among the malnutrition hotspots nationally. This is an outreach site for Loring Dispensary. We have around 30, we have 39 children who are severely malnourished, 94 children who are severely, who are moderately malnourished, and we have 31 mothers pregnant and lactating who are malnourished. It is a decades-long problem that has affected hundreds of children in this region, a problem that has now been exacerbated by the devastating impacts of climate change, a problem that is almost becoming numbing. The sight of malnourished children is becoming normal for mothers here. They take the wild fruits that are available at that point for our community here. There is uh, one called Edu, there is Ngakalalio. So during the dry season, that's what they take. Ebekutu is among the hundreds of children enrolled in the therapeutic feeding program, according to Clementine Aji Kom, a nutritionist at Kakuma Sub-County Hospital. If a child on therapeutic feeds is well taken care of medically and well fed, their recovery journey should take a maximum of three months, depending on the severity of the situation. 
However, because of the current food crisis, the recovery journey is taking a bit longer as some are even forced to share the treatment feeds with their peers. And that's why during the emergency response, there were, there were some of the some of the responses that were put in place to ensure that uh, sharing was not done, and one of them was cash transfers. <laughs> Non-governmental organizations such as the World Hunger Hilfe, in collaboration with other partners, are targeting vulnerable families with cash transfers. Key thematic area we work on, uh, on uh, majorly on uh, an elite sector nutrition program that uh, constitutes of uh, integrated health outreaches, uh, provision of uh, unconditional cash transfer. Uh, to address the issue of food security in the, within the affected households. While such programs have been pivotal in lessening the malnutrition burden in the county, stakeholders are focusing on investing on more sustainable programs. Before being introduced to farming, Susan Ekiru was among hundreds of Turkana residents who mainly relied on livestock as a source of livelihood. Many died due to lack of pasture, all courtesy of frequent drought, exposing them to starvation. She tried other alternatives and failed. <laughs> Ekiru is among 30 farmers at Morungole Farm Project involved in planting drought-resistant crops such as sorghum, millet and selected vegetables. As we join other women in her community to celebrate a bumper harvest of sorghum, she tells me that she is quite relieved that her children can now easily get something to eat. This is all courtesy of the farm project, which has been a game changer for many families. Lakini saisi, file sa, kiwango saisi ni hii sababu ya hizi mamiwa. Oo oh, naanza ku, nini, ku, kula kula hii miwa na anda, na anda kulalia. Idadi ni miyane na ayu kutosha hata. Toka select ni mbidi, arubai na moja. Totoka fanya, toka pia kapa. Toka pia kapa. Totoka pia hata mtama hizo. This is part of the sustainability efforts by stakeholders to make the households food secure with the ultimate goal of reducing the malnutrition burden within the county. And our objective here is purely uh, to fight uh, climate change in terms of our food production. Safin Aching Oma reporting for Citizen TV from Turkana West Subcounty, Turkana County.